Hey guys, this is an inventory program that I wrote. <clears throat> um, so basically, it's got all. Well, I guess it's more than an inventory program. It also like has fighting and health and all that stuff too. So here's all our attributes up here. Here's our name, mana, gold, and then our health. We of course have 100% health because we're starting out. And then below that, we have our stamina, then we have our fullness, and we have zero radiation percent, zero percent radiation because radiation is bad. Anyway, below that we have our inventory with zero items, and that zero items weighs zero pounds, and that zero items is zero percent of the inventory. So below here we have all our all these options. We can buy, sell, use, observe an all an item, or we can observe the room, and we can leave the game. So in this video, we will be talking about uh, the store, which is option one. So we'll type one. And when we type one, we'll go right into the store. So here's the store interface. We have our mana and our gold up at the top again. We have our summary of our inventory below that. We, it says we have 50 pounds available. Then up right here, we also have uh, town news. King said to crack down on old ale selling. So this is like random, like add variation to the game. Sometimes it'll be like um, other things too. So below here we have regular items, food items, weapon items, armor items, uh, special items, and all the items. Then we have items that we can buy, and then we can search for an item, and then of course we can leave the store. These are all the different options that we can do in the store. So let's first go buy a regular item, so we type 1. <coughs> and then here are all the regular items. We have a whole bunch of crap in here. <laughs> we have a clay cup, notebook, gas lantern, old book, puzzle cube, candlestick, all this different stuff. Anyway, but let's look at one of them. Um, let's look at the classy walking stick which is 13, so we'll type 13. And so it'll bring up its attributes. We can see its name, its uh, description, its weight, its uh, cost in mana, and its cost in gold. So would we like to buy this classy um, walking stick? Yes, we would like to buy it. So we type Y. How many would we like? It says we can buy three, so we buy one. And then you can see that our inventory has been updated. And is 30% full. So anyway. And you can see our store news has changed. Nothing new today though. So now let's go look at the food items. So we type 2. And here are all the food items in the store. There's, there's quite a few food items in the store. But out of all, let's go look at mangoes. Because I like mangoes. So we'll type 29. And we can see its name, description, all that stuff. Plus, since it's a food item, we can also see its uh, our, our health gain when we eat the item. Oh yeah, that's a typo up there. Anyway, oh well. So yeah, we can see what it's gonna, how it's gonna affect us if we uh, eat the item. So that's kind of cool. So would we like to purchase this item, mango? Yes. How many can? How many we would like? Let's just buy three. All right. So now we have four items, and we're forty-eight percent full in our inventory. And yeah, we can see a store news has updated. Empty bottle is now fifteen percent off. Go while sale is on, and we literally have to go, or next iteration it will not be on sale anymore. So let's go into the regular items to the empty empty uh, bottle yeah yeah it's 19 so let's go to times 19 and here it is it says it's on sale for 15 percent off um, we can get it for 1.7 mana and 2.55 gold instead of 2 mana and 3 gold and then it also shows its attributes and all that stuff too and it's updated down there would we like to purchase this item? tempting but no because empty bottles kinda useless <laughs> But anyway, all right. 
So let's go look at the weapon items. So we'll type three. <clears throat> and here are all the items. We have dagger, iron storage, shovel, silver sword, all this different stuff. And wooden stuff too, if you're really that poor, but <laughs> anyway, let's look at the iron sword. We can see that the iron sword has even more attributes because it's a weapon. And so it has a name, description, weight, cost, all that stuff. Plus it has, if it was enchanted, it would affect our health or it's, uh, our, it affects our fullness too. Because um, it's heavy. And then also, we affect the uh, enemy health because it's a weapon item. And so with this one, it, uh, enemy loses 7.5. And then we also have max uses because it has durability. So let's buy it. We can only buy one. Let's buy it. And now we can see our inventory is 98% full. And I will notice that, yeah, uh, town news changed again. So let's go look at the armor items. We have uh, iron armor and enchanted iron armor in here. There is not too many because I'm just too lazy to make more. But anyway. So let's, yeah, we'll notice store news also changed again. But anyway, uh, Iron Armor has all these different uh, attributes, everything, all enemy, if it was enchanted we would affect the enemy too, we would affect our health because it's heavy or if we were enchanted, plus has durability, and it also has resistance, so if we were attacked 10, we would only take 9 damage because it's uh, 0.1, but we're automatically kicked out of the uh, this attribute area because we do not have enough resources. Anyway, so let's go look at the special items. These are like potions and stuff. These things um, are special because they actually affect the max, our max health and stuff. And they're fairly pricey too, so yeah, that's why they're, they're fairly pricey. They affect our health and they also affect our max health and our max inventory and all that stuff. So that's kind of cool, but of course we do not have enough resources for this item, just because we're out of inventory space, but anyway. So let's go look at all the items, and this one's kind of self-explanatory, it just shows all the items in the store, which is, there's quite a few, there's a handful. So we'll type 51 to go back, and... Now that we're back, let's look at items that we can actually buy with our current uh, money and inventory space. <laughs> oh my goodness, we can only we can only buy a slice of bread. That's how poor we are, or how how much inventory we have left. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so we can also search for an item in the store. So we can search for something in the store if we were to type sword. We can see that there's four swords. There's a crap sword, iron sword, silver, and wooden sword in the inventory. If we type 17, it's not actually on the list. If you're curious, it's not on the list. If we do it, it doesn't care. It'll still show you what the item is. So, anyway, if you're curious. It's, it wasn't in the list. We typed it. It, doesn't, it didn't care. Anyway, notice again, town news changed. It'll, it'll change. Um depending on randomness. Anyway, so that's kind of cool. Um, let's type 9 to leave the store. And that's basically... We have our items. Um, you'll notice. And there's a 3 there because we have 3 mangoes. But, yeah. That's basically the whole gist of buying an item. In the next part, I'll talk about... The rest of the uh, areas, like selling, using, observing an item, observing the room. But, yeah, thanks for watching part one, guys. See you next time.